You can count on continues with Glenn Marini's Sports Report. The first thing you notice when you meet Huntington University's Paige Eckright is her smile. A Homestead grad and freshman volleyball player for the Foresters, it's hard to imagine Paige without that smile. However, that was indeed the case back in August. On her first day of college, she got a devastating diagnosis, a rare form of cervical and uterine cancer. With that smile still on her face, Paige is battling the disease, and here's her story of faith, family, and the Foresters. I had an appointment a few days prior, and they moved up my appointment to tell me. I had only been to this doctor once, so it was just kind of a surprise. I didn't really know what to say because when you're 18, first day of college, you don't actually expect to have an appointment telling you that you have cancer. Cancer. It's a word no one wants to hear. For Paige Eckright, it means playing her freshman season on faith as doctors form a plan for her treatment. For Paige, though, it's a story about plenty of prayer and an inspiring amount of positivity. That's one of the things that a lot of people point out about me is that I'm always a happy person. I don't know. I just like to find the positives in everything and like I know that everything's going to change but I know that I am loved and I will be loved by everyone around me and by God especially and that's just really helpful. It's just keeping me positive knowing that I am loved no matter how I look or act. She's able to see the reality of what's going on uh, but at the same time see look to the future and say I can't I can't look at the problem uh, we're gonna deal with the problem what I want to look at is the future it's her energy her excitement enthusiasm like every single day you'll never see her not smiling like all she does is smile she's got the biggest energy that you've ever met in your entire life I am always thinking about it like Obviously, I'm going to go through a lot of changes emotionally and physically in the next few months, and I'm always thinking about it in the back of my head, but I think it's awesome that the people here, I was afraid I would be, you know, treated differently when I got here because of my situation, but I have not been treated differently at all. She's gone through her ups and downs and gotten this piece of news and that piece of news. You know, they've not only wanted to know, but they have always known that they're going to be there for her, and she's known the same thing. Well, we've really worked as a family just to, to look at the, um, to look from a perspective of this is... This is a trial just like any other trial. Yeah, it's a big deal, but um, there's so much to be thankful for. This team is amazing. They're, they're so good to me, so sorry. They're some of the greatest girls you'll ever meet in your life, and I cannot even imagine being anywhere else than with this team and this family here. I'm just really, really blessed to have them, have them in my life supporting me through it all. Paige not only playing this season, but playing very well. She had a team-high 28 kills this past weekend, leading the Foresters to a pair of wins. As for her health, her team has set up a GoFundMe page to help with those expenses that will likely include chemo at the end of the season. And we've got links on Wayne.com and on our Facebook page. And I mentioned resiliency before the break. Boy, you love to see that smile out there from here. No uh, doubt in my mind, I think, that she'll beat this. No, Absolutely. not at all. I mean, what a great, great attitude Positive about it, Positive outlook yeah. and just a lot of support from the Huntington volleyball community, from the university. Uh, her family, Craig, who you heard from, is a pastor in New Haven. Uh, mm -hmm. Her mom, Jill, is actually a diving coach at Homestead, la athletic in the family, faith in the family. they got a lot of things going for them. Positively, we wish them the best. Whenever well, and everyone best. in Northeast Indiana now. Yes, yeah, exactly. Well, for her. For. Exactly. Thank you so much, Glenn. Mm -hmm. We'll be right back.